in front of me, you'll see this behemoth of a scooter. This is the Solar Scooters FF 2.0. This scooter has a ludicrous top speed of 65 miles per hour and weighing in at over 50 kilograms, it has serious performance. Full power. Whoa! God damn it! Power! Whoa! Okay, that's 50 miles an hour. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. And if we just take a moment to look at this, it says 4,000 watts, and these can peak to 5,000 each. And that means we have 10,000 watts of pure power in this scooter. Who would put so much power at my disposal? Oh yeah, solar scooters would. Right, so I will show you the ins and outs of this awesome scooter in just a second. But first of all, let's try and unfold it. Ah. And then we'll lock it into place with this lever. And we'll put this monstrous kickstand right down to support it. Woo! Look at the ride height on this. What the? Oh, God! Whoa! 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 Oh, the brakes work. That's always a good thing. So satisfying. They've put in a 72 volt Samsung celled battery pack with a 45 amp hour capacity. And that means you can expect around 50 miles of range on this. With one charger, it'll take around 12 hours to fully charge the battery. You can half that by using two chargers. Now the starting price for this scooter is £2,600, but let me tell you why it's worth it. There is one thing I wouldn't recommend, and that is trying to lift this scooter. <laughs> it's so heavy! <laughs> and here it is in between two of the scooter competitors for scale and size. Look at that solar scooter! You can order the optional extra steering dampener for this scooter. It will come with an 84 volt 3 amp charger, and it will come with two keys and two alarms. You get the deck lighting controller and an owner's manual. You can also purchase the saddle attachment. The tyres on this are massive. They're 11 inches in diameter and air filled. Up front, we've got the front LED laser lights. You can see where you're going in the dark and look how bright these things are. Now, don't forget the deck also has Tron lighting, so you can change that to your own colour. And you've got the front and rear deck lights as well. Look how cool they are. On the side, you've got two charger ports, and you can charge this scooter with two chargers if you want. Don't forget, guys, we've got hydraulic brakes, and they're branded by Nut. We've got front and rear hydraulic spring suspension, so you've got a nice smooth ride. So beefy! You can use this cool included LED controller to change the colours of the Tron lighting. Look at all the colours you can choose from! Okay, next up, we've got the hill climb test. And uh, it doesn't look like much, but believe me, that is a steep hill. I don't think we're gonna struggle, let's find out. Oh, it is just not even trying, guys. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I didn't, I didn't take this out of standard mode. It's just gonna wheel spin. A bit more power. All right, full power, here we go. Yeah, this is just, it's not even trying, is it? What is the deal? This thing has got so much power. Yeah, I mean, we're at the top of the hill now. Yeah, it doesn't try on hills, guys. It, it doesn't struggle. It's such a great scooter. It's got so 
much power. Honestly, one of the best pieces of advice I can give to you if you're going to buy the FF 2.0, just don't ride it in turbo mode. It's just you just don't need it. Holy hell! Okay, looking at the controls for this scooter, I'm gonna show you how to operate it. Turn the key to switch it on. You'll see the screen wakes up and the voltage is displayed. The screen shows the speed you're traveling at, the miles you've covered, the speed mode you're in, and the battery level. This is the headlight switch, and as you can see, it turns the front laser lights on. The red switch is also the deck lighting. On the right hand side, we've got eco and turbo, single and dual drive modes. And then to the right of that, we have speed mode one, two, and three, so you get different speeds out of this thing. It is a beast. There's also a USB charger, and you can see the throttle is a twist grip throttle. I would definitely say that this scooter needs some better grips. And the reason I say that is because it's quite a hard ride on your hands. There's a lot of vibration, and I'm not really keen on the twist throttle. I don't think it works that well with this particular scooter, but then each to their own, everyone's different, right? Um, also, make sure you get the off-road tyres because I'm finding that these road tyres, they're just no good in like any kind of other than road terrain. You just slip all over the place. The other thing I would say is you definitely want the optional steering dampener and definitely install it because at higher speeds, you'll get the wobbles with the steering and it's, it's a bit sketchy. And I think that's because you're quite high off the ground uh, and you've got so much power that, I mean, those motors just pull forever. They really do. smells like rubber. I would definitely advise you to get two chargers to half that charge time. The deck is nice and wide. You have enough room for your feet to sit side by side or one in front of the other if you choose. You're not going to miss this thing when it's coming towards you. It has plenty of lighting and it looks fantastic. The battery life has been pretty good so far. Let's just check out how much we've got left. So we've covered 20, 29 miles so far and we've still got what full battery where it thinks it's full. Um, we've got 79 and a half volts left in the pack and that's probably down to the efficiency of the two 50 amp sine wave controllers that sit in the deck the ride height is absolutely fantastic on this thing you can cover pretty much any terrain you can bump up and down curbs you can go down steps you know grass banks anything like that you don't have any issue covering any kind of ground the only thing i previously mentioned is i'd probably get the off-road tires just so you get a bit more grip I'll address the elephant in the room, guys. I did actually fall off this scooter. And I don't really know why. Um, when I review the footage, I fall off. I obviously hit my head on the floor. Knocked myself unconscious. And before you know it, I woke up in A&E um, with a bleeding spleen and bruised ribs and a cannula in my arm and i was just in a lot of pain and 
All I know is I just fell off. That's that's all I can give you. Luckily, I had the people around me to help me out. So it's quite ironic that I'm still doing this. I've been advised not to do it for the next two weeks, but uh, I just love this thing so much. It's such a brilliant product. And I wanna thank Solar Scooters for sending me out today. Guys, thank you again so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. As always, guys, I'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, peace out. See you later.